Hello, and welcome to The Bulletin. I'm Amon. And I'm Grace, and here's the news from this week. The famous book, To Kill a Mockingbird, has been suspended from the curriculum in Virginia schools for racist language. A parent filed a formal complaint, arguing that the use of the N-word in the novel should not be in schools. This led to the removal of the book from all the classrooms in the district. Opponents to this include the National Coalition Against Censorship, who argue that this free speech gives a realistic depiction of American history. The schools are now debating about whether to institute a formal ban or not, because as of now, it is in suspension, even though they have been removed from the classrooms. Right now, until the end of the week, there is a canned food drive going on in the main hall. All the food goes to the Unity shop. You may have seen a Santa Dawson dancing in the morning. Let's go take a look. Stop! Ho, ho, ho. It's Santa! That's right. I'm here to spread cheer and goodwill, so listen up. Next week is the last week for the canned food drive. When you donate, make sure the cans are not expired, low in sodium, and there's a label on it. We put canned food here to so the main hall before school to Mr. Dodson. The food drive ends the day we leave for break. All proceeds go to the Unity Shop, so donate. So wait a second, Santa's British? Donate! Let's see what Robert is up to in Counselor's Corner. Well, I think she's gone, so here we go. Hey, everybody. This is Robert, one with Counselor's Corner. Did you miss me? All right, students, only two weeks until winter break. You need to return to classes uh, Tuesday, January 3rd. January 2nd is a holiday, so woohoo for us. Spring SBC signups start December 13th, so if you want to take an SBC class in the spring, get your paperwork signed in the counseling office and get to SBCC before December 13th. There's some great options uh, at SBCC, like languages, photography, film, psychology, and so much more. Many of these classes are online. After the break, you only have 13 days before the end of the semester. Be sure to check in with all your teachers on work you can get done during winter break to get your grade in good standings. Winter break is a great time to get your community service done as well. All right, everybody. Um, this has been Robert. Hope to see you next week. Back to you in the studio. Let's head on over to ASB. Winterfest, this Thursday. Be there. Freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. There's going to be plenty of bagels. Where you're green and gold. Thanks, guys. We'll be back after this commercial break. Boy, what are you eating? My mom made it. You know there's a quad grub today. Little Caesars, Dave's Dogs, you gotta be there, bud. Boy. Hey, Santa Barbara High. It's Daniel Barnett, I'm the director of VADA, and I'm here just to tell you that you haven't missed your chance to join VADA if you thought you had. You just need to get an application online uh, or grab a paper one in our office and turn it in by January 31st to get in the applicant pool for next year. Good luck.
What up, Santa Barbara High? I'm Frankie, and this is Student Spotlight. Well, pretty much, my brother first brought me into it. Like, at first I didn't like to do it. I used to be like basketball, soccer, like a bunch of sports. But then he introduced me to it and got me a skateboard. And then I just been rolling with it. I flow for mini logo skateboards and I'm on the team for Lighthouse Skate Shop. Use the left door. The right door has the most germs. Yeah! Did you just stab me? It's flu season. Please get your flu shot. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah. Make sure to get as much sleep as possible. Stay warm. What's up, Santa Barbara High School? Welcome back to Dodd's Quick Quiz Week 2. The fun fact for this week is that The Forge was published in 1914, making it the second oldest high school newspaper to be published. Tune in next week, and we'll see you then. Bye. Bye. What are you doing? I'm going to throw this away. You could donate that to the library, to the flea market. The flea market will be here in the senior lot December 17th. The library needs smallest items between now and December 16th. Anything that fits in the front seat of a car here at the library. You can donate items only during school hours. Volunteers are also needed, so if you want to help, come down to the senior lot December 17th from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Ethan Keller, student, a boy barely alive. Gentlemen, we can rebuild him. We have the technology. We have the capability to build the world's first bionic boy. Ethan Keller will be that boy and faster at looking for college scholarships. He is the six million dollar scholarship bionic boy. It's time to check in with the sports report. Sam, I have this week's sports report. This isn't the sport report, this is an old briefcase. We have the sport report. Oh, you're right. I'm Emmett. And I'm Sam. And this is your week's sports report. Sports! Let's check in with the one sport people say that they're good at. Basketball. They competed in Simi Valley. And you guessed it? Simi Valley. Girls basketball competes in the Gold Coast Tournament December 7th through December 10th. Boys soccer claimed victory in the Cats and Hounds Tournament, beating Lompoc 1-0. They played Camarillo this Wednesday. Soccer, soccer, soccer. Soccer, that is female soccer, played the Table Rivers this week, otherwise known as Rio Mesa. They had a very busy schedule of one game this week. Good job, ladies. Girls water polo played Edison, not Thomas, on Saturday. They played Royal on Wednesday. They have a tournament this Friday through Saturday. Yeah, enjoy the water, guys, because uh, Kachum is at 7%, in case you didn't know. So yeah, That's have true. fun in that pool yeah, of yours with that guys. water. Have okay? fun. Have fun. Enjoy yourself, okay? I'm Emmett, and this is WrestleMania! John Huther took fifth place in the Kosarak tournament. The team competed in the Channel League Novice tournament yesterday. Good luck, boys. 
Yeah, we're, we're finished. I think, yeah, I think we're done. We're done so, yeah. uh, back to you in the studio. That was sports. Guys. That was sports. Sports. We love sports. Sports. That's it for this week's episode of The Bulletin. I'm Grace. And I'm Amon. And have a good weekend. <laughs> Shut up!